Hello, Bacho. let's read the given question. The question says, a skier slides horizontally along the snow for a distance of 21 meter before coming to rest. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the skier and the snow is mu k equals to 0.05. Initially, how fast was the skier going? Option A, 6.4 meter per second. Option B, 4.5 meter per second. Option C, 2.7 meter per second. Option D, 5.4 meter per second. So, uh, in this question, As a basic concept, we must understand about work energy theorem that says uh, work done due to all the forces, conservative and non-conservative. So conservative forces are those which depends upon the, uh, which are independent of the path, right? Or conservative forces are dependent on the path. So AC forces uh, like conservative ki hum baat kar rahe, so that uh, it can be frictional, uh, it can be gravitational force, spring force. All right, or non-conservative ki hum baat karen. So non-conservative force mein frictional force is the example we can give, right? So uh, all the forces ki wajah se jo bhi work done hoga that constitute into change in kinetic energy of the system, right? And uh, from this expression only we will try to answer the given question. Ab yaha pe also we need to understand uh, work done positive and work done negative ka jo uh, uh, phenomena hai. So work done is positive when uh, displacement and direction of the displacement force or your displacement ka direction hai, both are same. Jabhi we say positive work has been done. All right. And in that scenario, we can say kinetic energy final will be maximum or uh, more than kinetic energy initial or in that scenario, we can say W will be positive. Also, agar hum dekhe, so kinetic energy uh, initial agar zyada hui kinetic energy final se. So we can say work done will be negative in that scenario, right? So uh, from this uh, keeping in mind, we will try to answer the given question. Now we have said that the skier is going to be along the horizontal slides along for a distance of 21 meters before coming to rest. That means the final velocity is 0. Ho hai. Hai na? And we have been asked to calculate the initial velocity. So what do we W net will be equal to half m v final square minus half m v initial square. So this term will be 0 because the rest is going finally. Hai? And from this, we can say W net will be coefficient of kinetic friction. Hume given hai. So uh, we can say if the skier is moving towards right, so friction force will be moving uh, is applied on the left side, right? So we can say displacement or force ke which ka angle jo hai, wo hai, uh, minus uh, 180 degree. Sorry. So from that, we can say force is uh, work done is Fs cos theta. Work done is Fs cos theta. And if theta is 180 degree, then we can say that work done will be negative. All right, so yahan pe hum dekh sakte hain ke aur humne jaisa discuss kiya ke kinetic energy initial agar greater hogi final se so in that scenario also work done will be negative so yahan pe hum likhenge minus of uh, work done by the frictional force frictional force ke bare mein agar hum likhte hain so we can write mu mg this is the frictional force or displacement kitna ho raha hai uska it is let's suppose it has to be s theek hai and that will be equal to half m v1 square ya fir v initial square hai so from this minus minus sign will get cancelled out. Now uh, we can say mu jo hai, mu k ki value is 0.05 and when we multiply it 2 se multiply kar denge, so uh, this value will become 0 0.1 hai? 0 0.1 into mass hume given hai, uh, mass of the skier is not been given to us and we can clearly see that mass mass to waise bhi cancel hi ho jayega and uh, g ki value we can take 9.8 meter per second square and s has been given as 21 meter so uh, and that will be equals to v i square so finally this result comes out to be therefore v i will be equals to 4.53 meter per second so this is the answer to the question which match hoga our option b ke so i hope you understood the solution all the best